Okay, all filled up. That should do it for a little while. Uh, I don't feel like walking. I'm going to take the conveyor home. Aww. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil of Space. And I've been just doing a little bit of housework around here, trying to fill in this floor a little bit. Oh, I don't know, I want to put it there, I want to put it there. Uh, I know it doesn't really matter, but it does to me. If I ever see that little gap there, it kind of kind of bugs me. Um, did a few things after the last episode. One of the things I did is I actually did a whole bunch of research, as I will show you here. I did, basically I did all the stuff that just needs basic computations for, or the, yeah, Basic computations, whatever they are now. Uh, basically, to get up into steel and a few other things. And I stopped right at the, the circuits. And basically, any steel production, like steel work and stuff like that, save it for on camera. Uh, one of the things we are going to do is uh, we're going to start researching this one here. I think i got to put fuel back in there. Because uh, we are going to have to start getting into some steel. Uh, I have been AFK a little bit. we got a fair amount of copper going. Uh, we're going to have to start probably get another miner set up just for making copper wire because we're going to need to make a lot of circuits anyway uh do i have fuel i have fuel right here i also got the the stone set up on um the, the fuel line here so that's always going to produce so that's a good thing but what i want to do today is i want to try to get some steel going and uh possibly a good coke production going i can't remember i think they changed i think you changed the recipe on the coke oven coke oven and the blast furnace i think it was clay it needed before but now it's stone could be wrong on that but anyways for steel um there's gonna be probably gonna get set up first just to get some steel produced because uh in the steel we get the ore washer which actually gets us uh, some of this uh, chromium oxide dust which i think we need for stainless i do believe something like that it goes into Chromium dust, which gets mixed with iron to make stainless steel dust. Yeah, so um, we get some basic steel going at first. Uh, do have to get some stuff together. Uh, have, do know where that iron mine is. Let me grab some. Grab a stack or two or twenty of plates, and we'll get. Uh, oh, yeah, doesn't update. Get a miner set up. And I was looking at the map here, and we have iron right here. Now, this mineral water we will need eventually. We'll be using that to make salt when it comes down to... Uh, I think that's titanium age. Let me start making the, the sodium sodium dust or whatever. So it was... Yeah, it was right here, where the big gaping hole in the ground was. Until uh, I was here. Anyway. Uh, let's see. have the conveyor... Oh, research is complete. We can make circuits now. Eh, I think we'll put it right here. Oh, you can actually pick up the iron. Yes, you are. Three, so yeah, 7.5 seconds. But we're going to be doubling this. Um, I was looking at the steel recipes. So anyway, so we don't have to, we can either smelt the iron or straight into iron ingots. Just one to one. And then 15 coke and one, 10 iron ingots to get 10 steel, which is kind of expensive but there's other recipes too like i was looking at this we can use 20 coke and 10 iron impure ore dust uh or we can use 10 iron dust and 10 coke but uh to use this use the the clean iron dust we need to get the separator we don't have the separator until we get steel produced so we gotta we're gonna go ahead and uh use the, the other recipe here uh, hang on where is it where is it there we go steel uh we're just gonna go ahead and use this one uh the Coke, it's going to be easy. I'm probably just going to get up, like, three farms, three co uh, three farms, and six coke ovens, and a whole bunch of uh, arms. So let me get all that set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just waiting on some more stone to get the, the blast furnace made. Uh, research is done, so let's get some other stuff going. So that is complete. What else can we do here? Uh, we need circuits for steel work, so we can't do that. We need a circuit for the gas dump, which we're probably going to need pretty soon. Uh, I can make circuits by hand. That's uh, not a problem. I do need copper ingots. Uh, might do that, even though... Oh, actually, let's do this one. Alright, so that is researching. So, um, yeah, let's uh, lay down the pump. Now, 
where do I want to get this set up? I think here would be a good spot. Uh, we'll probably be moving all this stuff eventually anyways. So, uh, let's see here. Assuming... Okay, good. That's actually going the right way. Now, let's see if the pathfinding works with uh, pipes. It does. Oh. Oops. Oh, well. Let's do it this way. The pathfinding going to work? Nope, because I don't have enough pipes. Alright, let's make it a quick, quick stack here. And I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know where this hole came from. I didn't put it there. I fell down into it and... Oh wait, maybe I was down here. Maybe I was. I remember the the wall of water there. Anyway, so let's uh where's that pump? Over here. Okay, so I do have enough pipes this time. Let's just start at the top. Go up. And then let's hold shift and see what it does. Actually, where is it? I wanna to try to get straight. Yeah, you're right here. Come on, where are you? Oh yeah, it'll hold shift. Hey, it worked. It actually went... Oh, it found its way through. There was a gap there. That was my fault. Anyway, so I got three farms ready. So I'll put uh, one here. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. One there, and one there. Almost looks like steel, but I'm always looking at this color here. I'm not looking at the actual, you know, the dome part of it. All right, so we get some pipes connected, like so, and then uh, set that to logs, logs, and logs. I was just about to start singing it. If you know what I was going to sing, good for you, but I won't. I'm missing an arm. What's going on here? <gasps> Alright. That was going to be like what I had before. It's going to be arm there. And he's going to be feeding logs into coke ovens. And I made... I was going to make three blast furnaces. But I actually need three coke ovens. Or six, I should say. One to turn the wood into coal. And then another one to turn the coal into coke. Hey, where is it? Or it's... Keep them right in front, just because. All right, now we go for arms. Again. Oops. Wrong spot. No, I hear that thing now, and I'm worried that's gonna <laughs> might overheat and blow up now. I'm actually curious to see what the other tiers sound like. If they all sound the same, if they're gonna sound different. All right, so then we do that, and then. Oh, I need to make three more arms. Uh, we are going to have a creosote situation too, so i got to watch out for that. Three, do I have containers? 30 liters. Ugh, not much. Uh, it'll be good for now. I'll make a couple of them. Uh, which means I have to put pumps on top, because I'm pretty sure I have to actually install pumps to actually get the creosote out. We'll find out right now, actually. Let's see what happens when I put a pipe to it. Nothing. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have pumps. I'm gonna make some more pumps. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Now, um, yeah, I'll get this all set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot up now. I'm just gonna put the pipe down there and then go grab this container because I had to get up there because I wanted to put the pumps on top. I was going to try to squeeze them in here, but there's only one block gap, so it would have been technically pumping into the other coke oven. So, now I put two, made two containers for now. I don't know how much, how fast it's going to produce or how much it's going to produce, but uh, let's just hope it's not too much. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're already producing. So we already have 0.3 liters. I like that. It's got the container so the combined, so it shows at 60, where each one is only 30. So that is working. I do have to get this stuff taken out. So that means more copper. I will be back. Okay, I am back. I also made a shelf too. 
uh, just because we're gonna need a place to put all this. Oh, I hope I made enough enough conveyors. I don't think I did because um, the machines are the uh, coke ovens are more than just one block wide. Might as well make twenty stacks of them because we're gonna need them anyways. Anyway, so we do have to get this out. So let's do that and that, and that. Now I want to see if I can actually join the conveyors. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, it does work. Hey, much to love conveyors. All right, so now just a matter of putting a shelf here. Uh, do I need a shelf? An, an arm? Yes, I do. Kind of odd. You can put uh, items into a chest with a conveyor, but not a uh, not a shelf, which means that I need another arm. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Got a pile up here. There we go. Come on. There we go. So that is going. So that's good. So now we can go and claim our copper. Um, the coal does seem to be doing pretty good. It's holding up. I have taken some out of here. So I'm thinking I might be able to actually run some conveyors over to here. Keep this fueled. I mean, so the furnace, sterling generator, and a whole bunch more conveyors. Oh, conveyors. Let me go make a whole slew of them. Okay, I'm back. I've got uh, pretty much everything ready to go. Um, just what I wanted to do. I'm actually going to drop another miner there for coal and to supply the copper line and the iron line. Now, what I've done is I've actually turned this one around so that outputs on this side because I want to have the conveyor coming on the back side. I'm thinking about putting the steel line right down the middle here because by the time it gets all processed to about here, Coal, the coke is right there. So anyways, uh, I do have a whole bunch of conveyors and heat pipes and all that stuff. So let's go over here and drop another miner down. And we're going to power it off the, the same supply that this is coming off of. Because this is this is holding up for now. Of course, we're going to have to upgrade all this stuff eventually. Uh, let's see. I want to put it... Sure, we'll put it right there. No, it should still get coal, right? Yes. All right, so we just grab some heat pipes. We'll just bore off of here. I tried putting two on here to see if it was actually going to make a big a difference at all, but it didn't. So, and oh, do I really have to dig? Why do I have to get my hands dirty, huh? The video game for crying out loud. Uh, I'm just going to put one engine on here because it's it's not like we're going to be producing using too much of this. It's only going to be for supplying these two lines here. Uh, I probably will put a chest on here, just because. Just because it's in my inventory, right? Alright, uh, which means I have to make another arm. Oh, I don't have the copper for it. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. And what I'm going to do, too, is I'm actually going to remove this one engine here. Just in case... Uh, just in case... Uh, take too much power and we start losing coal over the place there. But let's see how that's doing. Okay, that is outputting. Good. So now we gotta take conveyors. Actually, we gotta take an arm first. Like that. Then turn that around and let's pathfind. Let's see how well this does. I don't know if I wanna go into the ground like that. Maybe. Maybe if we start with it going vertical. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Where are you? There we go. Okay, let's try that. Oh, still wants to go through the ground. Hmm. All right. Well, I got to do this manually then. Okay, so I got one set up. Yeah, I had to use the furnace to get on top of there so I could extend the conveyor, but I got it going all the way over here. Ended up being a little high, but oh well. So then what I'm going to do is wait for the auto save to lag me all the hell. And then I'm going to... I don't know if I should take it out of this chest. Actually, I'm going to take it out of this chest. So I'll take another arm, like so, and then try the pathfinding again. It's going to be a long stretch. Goes to here. Oh. That's the output, not the input. Now what do you do? 
Kämpft hm. ihr? Sure. Let's do it. Let's see what kind of hole I put in the ground. I can live with that. Okay, that's actually a little high because the furnace has got to go down. So let's do that. The only thing I don't really care for with the, uh, the pathfinding is it doesn't put the juncture bo junction boxes. It just has a conveyor going sideways like that. But that's hidden, so I'm not going to see it. So I don't care. All right, engine, and then uh, furnace, and then arm. And the fuel will come eventually. Eventually. It'll take a little while to get here. Let's give it a little bit of a kick start here. Run all the way back here. Okay, that was quite the path. I thought it was going to go straight across there and then back over, but that works. Uh, yeah, we'll take that for now. Hoping this has fuel. Yeah, it does. Should be fine. Ooh. Anyway, uh, oh, I might have to make some more conveyors. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I think I got everything ready. I uh, did make a whole bunch of conveyors. I uh, had a bit of a bit of an issue with the, the miners. Um, turns out I had it set up wrong. Uh, the chest I had on the coal miner there, um, that one there, uh, one arm was taking all of it, and it wasn't feeding itself. So what I've done is I've switched them over with uh, conveyor splitters. I did the same up here, too, because... Uh, the copper actually stopped. It was all going to the iron mine, and then I realized that there was nothing going to the iron mine. I went there. It was those things actually had no fuel. So uh, as you can see, I replaced that chest with a splitter, so it split alternates between going down to feed the, the miners and coming back up to here. So hopefully it's going to hold up. Uh, once that bottom belt fills up, of course it's not going to output on that side. It's going to feed all down here. So at least it'll keep going. Uh, the iron is being produced. It's not going anywhere because we've got to get conveyors set up. Now, I have thought about where I'm going to get this set up. I do have the hammer and macerator and made, might have to make some more heat pipes and got the, the engines and all that stuff. So let's see how the pathfinding wants to work today. Why are you going on this side? Oh, does it follow me? Is that what's going on? No. Not following me. Alright. I want to have the conveyors all on this this side for now. We can get worry about the spider webs later. Oh so, yeah, I'll do that. And then over here. Run all the way down here, not fall into a chasm and get lost and all that fun stuff. And let's see, what do you want to do? No, we're not going to let you do that. Do that. And you get the idea. I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to have to make some more conveyors by the looks of it. So, uh, yeah, I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I think I have everything ready for me, ready to go. Uh, one thing I did notice is this is going to be the first thing that we're going to upgrade. I do want to keep these six ovens going, but I've noticed that these arms can't keep up. And that one isn't emptying, this one is barely emptying. And this is about the only one that's really getting attention, it's only because this guy here is too slow. But that's fine, because we're going to be using this coat pretty soon anyways. So I do have, like I said, I got everything ready. We should probably get some research going. I don't know what there is to research right now. Uh, let's go for the steel multi-tool. Why not? Because we're just burning that fuel anyways. So, now, I'm going to probably keep keep everything in the line here. It's going to be, well, this really doesn't really matter. It's all going to be a different process. Uh, let's see, we do need room for the coke oven, so let's put it right here. I do have some shelves. I like to have a, a shelf set up for buffer of, um, what's the word? Or, yeah. All right, so it's just a matter of getting the conveyor hooked up. Let's see how many tiles we have to go over. I don't know, we have to go with three or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two and a three. Actually, this one put down like so. Oh, too far. And then I think I think I need to get that steam pack. Ste that steam pack made. Uh oh, there we go. Good thing I can coach. Perfect. Okay, now just to reset the orientation on the conveyor. Right spot. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, we throw an arm down, uh, which is right here, throw that in there, and oh yeah, we're going to need more arms going into the hammer, going to the macerator, hammer, and macerator, and from there it goes into the blast furnace, which I've already made. Oh, research complete. I had to actually check to see what that noise was. Uh, let's see where's the front of this thing, okay, it's there, and there. So that means we have to bring all that over here. I guess I'll need more conveyors then. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, we might have enough to make a few more. I do have to make sure I have enough for the heat pipes though. Alright, so do that. Do, 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 do. I know I could probably put them down one, down one below, but I don't care. I will do it here though. Um, hmm. Okay, the furnace is there, so... Good spot for it right here. Let's see if we can go underneath. Right, where are you? Take this side of the furnace and come like so. You gotta love it. So easy. Alright, so we got heat over here. I do have two engines ready to go. I do have to get another arm made, which will take three seconds. One, two, three. And there we go. Okay, so there's that. And now we get the coke over here. Overhead conveyor sounds good to me. Uh, we will need a rack for steel at this end here. And another arm and more conveyors. So let me get that, that taken care of. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Since this arm can only handle two of these ovens, take the conveyors out. I take the conveyors out, not the floor at the same time. Okay, that should be good. Now I'll just have this one feeding over there. Simple, right? You might think so, but it's not. Ah, uh, you never know. Uh, how do I want to do this? I prefer to go over, so let's do that. One, two. Uh, can I jump? Yes, I can, but I can't jump any higher than that. So, let me get this hooked up and I'll be right back. You know what? Let's try something. Because I've got the conveyor up here. I want to see if we can actually insert it into the oven at the top. Or if it has to be at the bottom. Put our arm here. We'll set the deposit to that side and see what it does. Besides an autosave. Nothing, because I haven't set a recipe yet. It works. It's realistic, right? It's disappearing, it's going in. All that matters. And it is going to take uh, some time to produce, some time to load, like 100 seconds an hour, for, uh, minute 40 for 10 steel. Uh, steel, what can you say? Uh, so far, everything's doing good. Uh, let's uh, get rid of this. Uh, and I think what I might have to do is we might have to get that gas dump going pretty soon but anyways i'm gonna take a quick break here we'll let some steel build up and i'll bring you back okay i am back so what i noticed is uh there wasn't enough coke, coke get into the, the blast furnace uh, to keep it production going so what i've done is i've actually just put another conveyor on here got an arm pulling out of the shelf so that, that this way this keeps a steady, steady a steady supply yeah i can tell i haven't done this in a while huh uh, but another one I would do, do it too is I actually went and mount, mount, find some copper by hand so I can get some ingots because I haven't gotten ingots anywhere so we can make circuits. The reason why we're going to make circuits is so we can start actually researching steel work because we need the circuits for that. Now what I want to do, actually I should have done that first, actually we'll borrow an arm from somewhere. We'll take you for now. 
I put that one there because it wasn't taken out fast enough anyways. But now since uh, we have I don't, an auto-selecting uh, research computer, yes. All I have to do is just put an arm in a chest and put the circuits in there and it will use them when it needs it. So do I have the circuits? I have five. I'll wait for three more, two more. I should probably go ahead and start the research now. Start that, it probably should start doing these, yes. And it's not gonna do those until I have them crafted. And there they go. Now they're going in. Now it's gonna use, takes them both at the same time too. That's cool. I think there was supposed to be a color change. Yeah, there you go. You can see that it's uh, yellow for the basics, and then it goes to the gray color for what it's doing the circuit. So that's cool. And it's going to be a couple of minutes until that's done, but that is, gets a steel work. So I think we're going to call this one here. It's uh, been a bit of a bit of work. Uh, I'm going to do some AFK in between now and the next episode, let the steel build up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start upgrading all our machines. Because, let's face it, one iron for every seven and a half seconds just isn't cut it, isn't going to cut it. And the copper line is just barely holding up. Like it's been sitting at that number for the longest time. So we're, we're, we're net zero on this. We're not gaining, we're not losing. We're just holding up. So if I want to get more circuits going, I'm either going to have to increase this line or get a second uh, miner set up. Either way, it's going to be more machines to make and more fun to have. But anyways, I think I'm going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.